Welcome to this week's edition of the Governor's Games from Sunset, Louisiana. We are at the Sunset Event Center for the Governor's Games boxing match. And I'm here with former Golden Gloves boxer Ron Guidry. And Ron, give us an idea of the type of boxers we're going to be seeing here today. Well, most of them are young kids. Uh, a lot of them started probably when they were 12, maybe younger, all the way up to 25 you know, years old. And most of the younger guys... They're going to keep fighting for a while. Hopefully that they uh, will become champions at one time or another and hope to make it to the, scene, uh, to the Olympics, uh, hopefully. So Olympic dreams oh, yeah. are definitely a big part of today's event. You got it, man. They, they, you have to have a reason to be boxing, okay? You can't just say, I'm going out and box. You got to have a reason. Because if you don't have a reason, you're not going to train hard and you're going to get whipped, okay? <laughs> so some of the boxers we're seeing today are pretty much from the South Louisiana area, right? Yes, majority of the fighters you have here are from right around the Lafayette area or, or like you say, South Louisiana. You might have a team from Shreveport and maybe a Monroe, but most majority of them are from down south. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Don't go away. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll have some great boxing action from Sunset, Louisiana. You're watching the Governor's Games. I'm Cox 4. Welcome back to the Sunset Events Center. Jeff Palermo along with four-time Golden Gloves champion Ron Guidry. And it's our first bout of the Governor's Games. Wilson White from Lionheart. Boxing Club in Port Arthur, Texas. He's in blue against Brian Crawford, and these two are going at it, Ron. Wow. It's going to be hard judging this fight. They're not giving up. Wow. Again, Brian Crawford is in red, Wilson White in blue. Both of them swinging away at each other in a furious first round here from Sunset, Louisiana. Ah, oh, they're slowing down. Oh, there we go. Well, at this age, Ron, what are some of the techniques that especially young co coaches try to get across to young boxers? Well, mostly uh, defense, of course, and uh, and naturally, <laughs> to show you in shape, because like right. you say, you can see the fight. They're going at it full blast, you know, for one minute. So if you're not in shape in that third round, you're going to see. The 70 pound Bantam, my open division. In the red corner, representing the Frog Capital Boxing Club from Lane, Louisiana, Brock Ordome. Brock Ordome, very colorful outfit for representing the today's GM bout. Boxing Club out of Houston, Texas, Houston. Alejandro Hernandez. Again in the green. Alejandro Hernandez in the blue, and Hernandez with that left hand has been devastating. And these two are just swinging back and forth. Hernandez has been much more aggressive, got some confidence there at the end of round one, and it is carried over to the second round. Yeah, there you are. He's got Ordome on his back foot. Now Ordome trying to establish oh. his left jab. And good couple of hits there by Ordome. Oh, but Hernandez come. got him with a couple of good. Junior open division in the red corner. I'm representing the GMM Boxing Club out of Houston, Texas. Juan Balacres. Balacres. In the blue corner, representing the Lionheart Boxing Club from Port Arthur, Texas. Howard O'Brien! Howard O'Brien in the blue corner. Juan Velasquez in the red corner. And our three round. The Kenner Boxing Club from Kenner, Louisiana, Derek Menza. All right, a couple of Louisiana boxers will duke it out here. Derek Menza. Derek Menza coming out of the blue corner, and it's Sammy Delivery. Representing the Put Em Up Boxing Club. And Lafayette, Louisiana, Chris Bruno. Actually, Chris Pick Bruno. Club, Lafayette, Louisiana. So we had a typo <laughs> on our bout sheet. So Keenan Glaude oh, and Chris with Bruno. the white stripe. Glaude, white top, black shorts with the white trim.
bit of a feeling out process as we begin this three rounds. Claude delivers a couple of body shots there. Claude and Bruno get tied up momentarily. Representing the Savannah Boxing Club of Houston, Texas, Jamie Flores. So for the first time today, this boxing championship, two girl boxers going at it. Britton Valle and Jamie Flores. Britton is in the blue top with the black shorts. Jamie Flores in red with the white trim. And just as we expected, non-stop. Yeah, Britton has delivered a couple of nice punches in this one on Jamie. Jamie trying to respond though. Britain looks like a polished boxer, wouldn't you say, Ron? Mm -hmm. yeah. Jeff Palermo along with Ron Gidry, a four-time Golden Globe. Williams caught Carter with the left. Carter then hits Williams with the right. With a solid right there. Welcome to today's installment of the Governor's Games. I'm Jeff Palermo along with former LSU great Rudy Macklin, who now serves our state as the executive director of the Governor's Council of Physical Fitness and Sports. And Rudy, here we are at the Illerial Center, one of the premier facilities for basketball in the state. And we got some of the best basketball teams in the area competing at this event for the Governor's Games. Yes, this is the two best teams in the entire tournament. Uh, these are seniors to be juniors and some sophomores. And these guys, they can really hoop it up. Lafouche Terrebonne Rockets and the Lafayette Celtics coming up here on the Governor's Games. Yeah, just a great game. Uh, not much height out here in the uh, last few years we had there. A nice uh, jumper there that falls for Kenyatta Charles from this Lafayette offense right now. So that will set up a long three, and it's good by Aaron Le Tyreek Broussard. Broussard, and the layup is good. It wasn't the prettiest. Guys they played against uh, throughout high school, and some right. of them they never met before. You could. You know, uh, forge good friendships along the way. Right. You know, so these, these tournaments work out very well for these youngsters. You know, I never played in the. We didn't have really AAU back there right, when I played, right. and, and so this is good to see this. Stolen by Dante Johnson. Johnson trying to get the oh. and one, but no. Well, sometimes they. Welcome to this week's installment of the Governor's Games. Today we are at the Elementary Fitness Championship at the Bernie Moore Track and Field Stadium on the LSU campus. I'm Jeff Palermo along with Miss Louisiana, Lauren Visa. And Lauren, give us an idea of what we're going to be seeing here today. Well, we're going to see a whole range of events, uh, the sit and reach, the 50-yard dash, the 600 run pull-ups, really just testing and showing off all the strengths of all the students. And this is some of the best athletes as far as elementary students in the state as we have 17 parishes competing in this event. When we come back, we'll have the opening ceremonies. You're watching the Governor's Games on Cox 4. Coming on strong in lane two is Bo Gotro from Livingston and Carson Jones is the fifth one. And winning that one easily is Cleveland Harris the third from Lafayette Parish. Now here's heat number four. In lane one, it's Rashawn Williams from St. James Parish. Lane two, it's Herbert Keyes from St. Tammany. Hunter Pryor is in lane three from Acadia Parish. Brooks Cusies from Assumption Parish in lane four. And Ethan Carpenter is in lane five from Beauregard Parish in southwest Louisiana. Now we're ready for heat number four. Just edging out is Shania Anthony from East Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. Yes. We've got Heat Six going with Iberia, Iberville, Jefferson, Lafayette, and Lincoln Parish. And it looks like Lafayette Parish pulled out and won that one. 
In heat number seven, we've got lining up Carly Roddy in lane one from Livingston Parish, Rihanna Sutherland from Rapides Parish, in lane three, Algera Bailey from St. James Parish, and Sierra Ballard from St. Tammany Parish. Fitness Championship. This is the pull-ups. This young guy is doing quite a job here. Already up to nine pull-ups. Ashlyn Broussard, one of the competitors in the elementary fitness championship. And Ashlyn, you just uh, did the uh, the long jump here. Pretty good. How how'd you do? I jumped six, ten and a half. Is that uh, pretty good for you? Is that the best you've done? Yes, sir. Well, what do you like about this event? That you you can show who you are and you can like jump as far as you want. Yeah. Uh, is this your favorite event, or do you like one of the other ones better? I like pull-ups. Oh, yeah, you like pull-ups? How many pull-ups have you done? About 15. 15? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Do you, do you aspire to continue to remain in you know, track and field or whatever? Yes, sir. You like it that much? Where did you go to school? Dotson Elementary. Okay. Well, congratulations, and uh, it's great that you're here. Thanks a lot for talking with us. Prepared themselves well. The coaches prepared the kids. Great run. Curl up, boys. In first place with a new record of 139 in a minute. Camden Tyler, New Iberia. Second place with 102. Demetria Freddy. Third place with 92, Jaden Jackson, East Baton Rouge Barrett. installment of the governor's games here on Cox 4. I'm Jeff Palermo along with Miss Capital City Lacey Sanchez. We are at the Bernie Moore Track Stadium on the campus of LSU for an AAU track and field event brought to you by the governor's games which does games all across the state a variety of sports and today it's track and field and Lacey we got a lot of great competitors here today. That's right, Jeff. Today there's over 1,100 competitors here today, over 50 teams, including unattached competitors, and it's a great place just for them to be competitive and stay in shape. So over the course of the next hour, we're going to show you some of the running events. We'll show you some javelin, some long jump, triple jump, high jump, and hear from some of the competitors that have come to Baton Rouge to try their best and win some awards. We'll have more of the Governor's Games when we come back on Cox 4. with Milani from Focus Athletics, correct? Which is out of Lafayette, right? Yes, sir. Tell us, uh, tell the folks out there what events you compete in. I compete in the 200, the 400, and the long jump. Which one is your favorite? Um, the long jump. Why is that? Because I get a chance to jump far and get a medal. Yeah. Did you get a medal today? 
Um, I never jumped yet. I'm waiting for them to get off their lunch break. <laughs> always, everybody's always on their lunch break. Uh, tell us why you love competing in track and field. Um, I love competing so I could get medals and I can be the top, the top three so I can make it to nationals. Do you want to be an Olympian one day? Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's a good goal to have. Thanks a lot. We'll look forward to seeing you, and good luck out there today. Thank you. Milani from Focus Athletics over in the Lafayette. Arnold at U.S. Express, Taylor Jones, Texas Stallions. All right, I'm hanging out with some of the uh, shot putters. I got Jason Williams here, right? Is I said Joshua Williams, right? Joshua Williams from Baton Rouge. What's your uh, farthest shot put? 20. 20? That sounds pretty good. What, what, why do you like uh, shot put so much? Because I love when I throw the shot put. And how long have you been doing it? This is my first year doing it. Yeah? And uh, show, show the viewers the, your back of your shirt. I love this. Born, born to soar. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So where do you go to school? Bernard Taylor's Elementary School. All right. Okay. And we also have competitors all the way. You said you're from Texas? Yes, sir. What's your name? Alex. Alex. And uh, what's your farthest shot put? Uh, 34. All right. So is this your favorite sport or is it out of the track? Uh, yes, sir. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Palermo along with John Klein. This is the Governor's Games and we're going to be broadcasting the 13-year-old volleyball championships. A lot of great competition here at the Hilton Health Club in New Orleans. We've had thousands of players, hundreds of teams that have come all across the southern region of the United States to compete in this. And John, some great competition and some great athletes. Some wonderful talent out here today, especially younger kids. Tomorrow will be the older, but this is where it begins, you know. So uh, this is where they're learning the basics of the sport. And these kids here, 13s, they'll be going into high school soon, and uh, they're, they're looking forward to that. Yeah, again, the 13-year-old championships, some great young talent. We'll have the game for you when we come back. All right, this again is our 13-year-old championship level, the uh, Governor's Games Volleyball Tournament from the Hilton here at, in New Orleans. And these two teams that you're seeing here are the Crescent City Juniors and the Via Danny Wells, trailing one nothing. Good serve there, and that's two in a row now for the Via Danny 12. For the Via Danny 12s. Ace. Start by the Via Danny 12s. They are now up 7-4. to four. The press 7-1 run. Well, Danny Davis. Very emotional coach. Yeah. Well, he was, uh, the Via Danny 12s go on one of their patented runs here, and they laid it by 12 now, or by 2, 11-9. Good set and the game. They win both sets by the same score, and both sets went pretty much the same way with Crescent City Juniors getting off to a great start. But then the Via Danny 12s, once they got control of the service, that was pretty much it. Settled down into their game plan, kept the serve in, kept the serving pressure on Crescent City.